subject boost cause the race is on Ain't no one taking me out my zone If you don't know what I'm coming for If you ain't worthy I'll take your throne Thursday in the stunning San Juan Mountains of Colorado marked the first day of qualifications at the 2021 Uray Ice Festival. Fifteen men successfully topped the qualifying route, and in the women's competition, not a single competitor managed to clip the chains. In the men's qualifiers, the two tops came from 17-year-old Keenan Griscom and his coach and colleague Tyler Kempney. Well done, Tyler. Griscom set a blistering pace with a top in 4 minutes and 15 seconds. Putting up a good chase and closely following were Noah Bergman Way to go, Noah. and Kevin Lindlaw. Seven of the 15 men that topped did so in around the seven minute time bracket. All right, well done. You can't stop me, try to tell me no. I'ma push it to the limit, tell me stop and I'ma go. Competition favorite Wes Fowler fell early on during his qualifying attempt. Oh, oh. Nice push, Wes. It was sad to see, but he still has a chance to rectify his mistakes tomorrow if everything lines up in his favor. For the women, our top three competitors were Lauren Chartel, Ros Reynolds, and USA team member and World Cup climber Corey Bouhey. Angela Limbach, an M14 climber in her own right, fell lower than expected. She's hoping to make a better showing tomorrow. Overall, the biggest story to come out of the women's lineup is the incredibly strong turnout from several rookies in the competition. Over the coming days, keep an eye on Nicole Merkel and Keiko Tanaka. Merkel is a five-time obstacle course racing world champion, not to mention a Spartan race world champion. That is time, way to go. Friday brings a new route and new time restrictions. The men will be given seven minutes to climb, the women will be allocated 10 minutes. With day one jitters firmly behind them, with a place in the finals on the line, expect to see pace, flair, and maximum effort, especially as these athletes hit that plywood tower. The 2021 event marks the 26th anniversary of the Array Ice Festival, and whilst much has changed between then and now, one thing remains the same. These folks are having the time of their lives. Stay tuned for more highlights tomorrow. <laughs>